This is Bon JP, the local traveler. In this episode, I am still at Hat Yai, Songkla Province. I will take you to eat more local food, go shopping for souvenir at Kim Yong Market, and take you to see the beautiful sunset at Central Mosque of Songkla. Before we start, if you need a flight, hotel, or car rental, you may check out the link in the description below. In the morning, I had an affordable and tasty breakfast at Chogi Dim Sum, the most famous local dim sum restaurant in Hat Yai. As the shop is so popular among locals and tourists, so the best time to come is between 6 to 8 o'clock, as it is not too crowded yet. When you arrive, the first thing to do is to get your queue number. When the table is ready, staff will call your number, and that's the time to pick your own dim sum. There are so many choices to choose, and they are only 25 baht per ditch. My desk is on the opposite side of the shop. In a few minutes, the food is ready. And this is my breakfast. This is shrimp wrapped seaweed or sarai ho kung. This is crab dumplings or kanom ji pu. This is hak kao or hak gao. This is steamed sea bass or black la pong nung. This is song si or bat chang. And this is chives or gui chai. This is how locals prepare their own dipping. First, add the sweet dipping sauce and then add the spicy sauce into the small cup and enjoy. This is traditional Thai coffee. It's made from Thai coffee and sweet condensed milk. This is deep fried dough stick or barangko. We normally eat it with a steamed custard. I really enjoy the meal and now I'm ready for shopping. This is Kim Yong Market, the famous local market in Hat Yai. It opens every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. There are limited parking spaces, so you may have to find a parking nearby and walk to the market. This market sells so many things from fresh fruit, dried food, garment, electronics, toys, leather, and so on. You may wonder what you should buy for a souvenir. And this is what I knew from the shop owners. Thai locals love buying nuts, dry fruits, dried shrimp, and imported products. On the other hand, Chinese and Malaysian travelers always look for something different. They look for high quality dried seafood products for making Chinese food. These are dried sea cucumbers. There are so many types and sizes to choose from. You would be surprised to know their prices, as it could be starting from 1,000 to 40,000 baht per kilogram. These are fish malls, and they could be as expensive as 20,000 baht per kilogram. Now I've got the souvenirs and ready for lunch. In a small alley, there's a famous local restaurant called Nai Ru. It is a Thai Chinese restaurant that offers an authentic local dining experience at a reasonable price. It opens every day from 11 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. These are their recommended menus. 
and today I ordered deep fried pomfret with chili and garlic, abalone in brown sauce, and fried minced pork with garlic and pepper. The weather is getting hot in the afternoon, so I went to Thai Thai ice cream. This ice cream parlor is not like any others because they sell ice cream with frozen egg yolk. Moreover, there are so many Thai desserts and toppings to choose from, so you can create your own dessert as you like. There are three sizes to choose, 50, 40 and 30 baht. There are coconut and chocolate ice cream flavors to choose. And this is my ice cream. This is the central mosque of Songkhla province where we will watch the sunset here. The building opens from Sunday to Thursday from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. But we can hang around outside the building and see the sunset from the opposite side of the mosque. And this is the beauty of Songkhla, Thailand. At night, I enjoy drinking tea and eating roti. This is Bang Tom Cha Rim Thang. It sells food, roti and tea. Opens every day from 6 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. I chose this shop because I want to try local lifestyle. Sitting on the mat beside of the road, eating food under candlelight. What a romantic place on earth. And to date, I ordered cha chak and banana roti. In a few minutes, the shop gave me this as a compliment. So thank you once again for this. In the next episode, I will take you to visit Songkla National Museum, eat street food at Songkla Old Town Night Market, and see the remaining old city wall. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.